Well, the situation for negotiations for the Seahawks doesn't look as bad as everybody thought. I mean, we'll still need to find out if Wayne Brown's going to get some kind of new contract because he's a hold-in. And, of course, uh, I don't think he's going to miss any playing time because I don't think he wants to be you know, losing money. He wants to gain some money. Then, of course, you have the situation with uh, Quandre Diggs. Diggs, of course, now finally speaking out, saying, sure, he wants a contract extension. He wants more money. He's making $6.2 million. And, of course, you've got top cornerbacks, Pro Bowl cornerbacks making big money. You know, $14 million just went to uh, uh, $16 million, actually, to Harrison Smith. And you got, uh, you know, $17.5 for Jamal Adams. But he's not going to miss any playing time. So overall, it looks like you know, even though there's been hold-ins, there's still going to be some you know, at least settlements on some of these deals. The question is how soon, because it's a di very difficult situation for any player now trying to get some contracts. There's not a lot of money available because of the shortened cap. The fact that it's 182.5, 8% less than last year. But still, deals can get done, and the Seahawks do have room to get some things done. We'll see how quickly that works.